Hey, welcome back to today's video. Kindly, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are, if you are a new viewer, and then uh, if you are a new subscriber, kindly, as usual, sub, uh, like, share, then uh, drop your opinions in the comment section, and I'll really appreciate. Then you can share this video to your friends and family. And of course, for our new viewers, do the same kindly, and I'll really appreciate. Remember, uh, I'm on my way to monetization, so kindly consider watching this video till the end and I really appreciate because right now I'm chasing the watch hours because I've uh, achieved the threshold of subscribers which is a thousand and uh, right now I'm chasing the watch hours which is uh, 4,000 watch hours which is not a joke so kindly support me to achieve that by watching this video till the end and I really appreciate and of course if you haven't followed me on all social media platforms I go by the name Romy is me so that is on your, on your screen right now kindly check out uh, my my social media platforms on your preferred YouTube, uh, social media platform and i'll really appreciate if you're a facebook type a person or instagram or x or uh formerly twitter or even um tiktok i'm on all on the, on, on all those social media platforms I'm, uh, and i'm very active so kindly check me out if you're doubting me you can uh, prove your you can uh, prove me wrong uh, or something like that. So kindly check me out and I really appreciate. So today we are doing a beautiful video here in Nairobi city where I'll be checking out this uh, well-known estate which goes by the name Buru Buru. So Buru Buru is a well-known estate here in uh, Nairobi which uh, hosts, uh, I can say, middle-class earners here in Nairobi. So that is uh, the middle-class earners and uh, maybe the upper middle class earners, yeah. So it ranges there. Middle class earner and the upper middle class earners usually reside from this place. So we wanna check it out and I uh, really appreciate. So kindly, as usual, support me in this journey and I'll give thanks and uh, of course, I'll always be dropping videos on a daily basis so that uh, you, can, you guys can always be linked up with me and I'll really appreciate. So without much further ado, let's check these beautiful houses out. Boom. So here we go, guys. As you can see, here is uh, one of the estates that uh, is found here in uh, Buruburu. And uh, I wanted to show you guys, like, uh, for example, this is a gated community where you can see the cream gate over there. This is a gated community. This is a gate. Then, uh, of course, we have uh, the different uh, houses where they've actually been numbered, as you can see. Yeah, the houses have been numbered, and they're, uh, they're actually like, uh, you know, they have, uh, they're like a one story building or something. So, as you can see, there is uh, the ground floor and then the there is the ground floor and then the, the the first floor so you can clearly see that uh, the houses are numbered so that helps in terms of uh, if you're going some if you're going to visit somebody they tell you their house number and then uh, in terms of uh, del delivering something it's easier when it's uh, time to deliver something you just go to a certain house number and it makes something easier and it makes the delivery easier so that's one thing that uh, you get to see when you arrive here and uh, as you can see the houses are quite uh, you know they're not modern but they're still up to task as you can see they're still well maintained and uh, well done in terms of uh, maintenance and, uh, that's a beautiful thing to see. These are houses that were built way, way long ago, but uh, they're still in good uh, form. So let's keep on walking and see. As you can see, more houses are on this side and they are really well done. Kids are outside here playing, cycling. It's an amazing uh, place to stay, actually. So. As you can see, people have done their landscaping well. 
yeah and then uh parking you can see people utilize the outside uh, parking you know there is inside like when you open this gate there is a parking there for maybe two at least two vehicles but if you can you can park three you know but uh in this case people actually decide uh, opt to park outside for example if you have three to four vehicles or even two vehicles you can park one inside then leave some space for daily movements then park uh, another vehicle outside so they offer outside parking and of course inside parking when you open this door or this gate and uh or rather you find a space where you can park two or three vehicles but of course if you park three you'll have minimal movements because uh, the space won't be that much so as you can see the place is chilled the place is easy yeah the houses are clean well kept well maintained and of course security tight in terms of uh you know cctv surveillance as you CCTV surveillance, as you can see, this, this here is a CCTV surveillance over here, which is a good thing to see. Amazing stuff. So, as you can see, there are these two different types of uh, houses here in uh, Buruburu, whereby you can see there are these bungalow ones. For example, these are bungalow ones and these ones which I'd shown, you, I'd shown you earlier on these are like mansionettes but uh, not the modern mansionettes this is where at least you have a ground floor and a first floor but this one is just uh, on the ground it's just a ground floor like a bungalow there's no staircase or something like that but in this case this type of the houses there are uh, some uh, staircase in form uh, of helping you to you know go to the rooms which are uh, on the first floor so that's an amazing stuff to see and then one thing i've realized with this side is that uh people don't uh, lack water yeah there is lots of uh water reservoirs as you can see on top of these houses there are tanks these black these are tanks yeah, these black uh, stuff you can see on top of the roofs, those are water reservoirs, they are tanks, which is amazing. It helps with the uh, water, you know, storage. You know, this side there are a couple more, this side. See, those are the black tanks. Those are, for, they are for water storage which helps so much yeah so you can see as i was it i was telling you earlier the houses are numbered the different types of houses are numbered and then as you can see people at least can afford uh, vehicles that's why you can see lots of vehicles parked outside and you might find a family has three to four vehicles or two or one so that's why you'll see others are parked outside while others are parked inside so if i turn this side you can see more vehicles yeah more houses more tanks up there for water storage then i uh, can see every gate is closed yeah every gate is closed yeah look every gate is closed yeah for of course security reason and uh, privacy purposes yeah so this makes this place to be a bit expensive and i shall be talking about uh, how the rent range maybe le later on so stay tuned guys so about uh the rent and uh, how people get to pay wherever they live here there are two forms maybe one can come and lease for maybe a couple of years it can be one year two years three years four years or five years or according to how 
good uh, you are financially you can come and lease this place for a couple of years and then uh, if you can't you can do the rental form where lots of people consider doing rental form so most of the people who live here are uh, like a good percentage are the owners of the house and uh, maybe like let's say 30 percent are the owners of the house so they don't pay rent they bought the houses and uh, the others are uh, the 70 percent are now tenants which ca who come to you know to rent the place so it depends for example the ones which have uh, like the ones which look like a mansionette like the ones which are behind me the ones the ones which have um, like a, a ground floor and a first floor those ones range fr range from uh, from 20 to 35,000 per month that is Kenyan shillings so 20,000 uh, that's the least you can get and that that means maybe a relative has left left it for you or uh, maybe you've just gotten a friend who has just helped you out because it's rare for you to get those uh, which have uh, like four bedroom those are four bedrooms it's rare for you to get a 20,000 uh, 20, house like these ones so um, averagely actually people do pay 30 to 35 averagely 20 are those who are lucky and are those who are here who have lived here for nearly more than a decade so they started paying that type of amount way way long ago so they, they've been here for nearly more than a decade you know so that's why there are some who are still paying 20 you know raising to up to 25 and those are the least who pay for such houses and then there are these ones these ones this type of house these which are it's a bungalow it's totally a bungalow so those ones range from uh, you know from at least 15 that's the list and those are the ones who have been there for more than a decade and the ones who are still paying 15 and for these who have for the ones who have come a little bit late like recently those ones are they do found like uh, the place has been done uh, the place has been uh, you know um, the place has been uh, renovated and uh, improved so they get the price has been you know increased so for them they they get the houses at at least um, nearly 25 25 26 27 28 and uh, for the one who finds the house is really well done in terms of finishing they even pay 30 for those are uh, three bedrooms for the ones which are like this one bungalow these are three bedrooms and these ones are four bedrooms so that's the difference guys so that makes the house to be these houses to be or this estate to be quite expensive for a regular uh, regular or a common citizen so another thing that makes this place to be expensive is the waste waste management and electricity and uh, the water water supply so you find that you get to pay for these other three services sometimes differently if you're lucky you find it inclusive on your rent so you find most of them they get these three services uh, excluded from their rent so they get to pay waste management differently they pay electricity differently and they pay water di uh, differently uh, the water services or water supply differently so you get uh, that makes even the place more expensive and of course if you want internet supply of which most of the people here access internet or wi-fi on a daily basis so they can't for them they, they feel like they, they feel like they can't do without uh, internet because their jobs or their careers require them to have um, good or proper wi-fi or internet in their houses so they find it to be you know um, a secondary need that they really require for them to continue you know uh, making a proper income for them to stay here so another thing that maybe makes this place to be more expensive is the accessibility it's really near town like the CBD it's not that far it's really near town so it takes you nearly 20 to 25 minutes if there is no traffic to be in town and uh, sometimes even 15 or relatively 15 to 20 to 25 minutes 
yeah that is if there is jam or no jam if there is no jam it's faster if there is jam it may take you 25 minutes or even 30 yeah according to the traffic jam so the place this place is a bit expensive because it's quite near the town center and the place is uh well maintained is uh, well kept you know security issues again that's another thing by the way the fourth thing that makes uh, this thing at uh, this place to be a bit expensive is that you pay security differently you know you, you get to pay security uh, personnel differently from uh, the rent you get because this place most of the people do have vehicles and you get sometimes they need somebody to be opening for them the gate when they are leaving and to close the gate when they're you know going or when they are back so they need a uh, security officers which will which will whom will help them uh, to open the gate and close the gate whenever they come or whenever they are leaving so that's another thing that uh, makes the place a bit expensive because uh, as i had showed you earlier on the place is actually like a gated community there are gates where you know they control the uh, movement around on uh, how people get inside and how people get, go outside so at least when you're coming they get to us to ask you where you're going and such stuff which is a good idea to help the place to be more secured yeah so guys you can comment on the comment section what you think about this place and i'll really appreciate if you are around here do you think you could come and stay at this place yeah you can comment on the comment section and i'll really appreciate so guys as usual make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at romi is me and i'll really appreciate i'm always active on a daily basis on all social media platforms you can get there interact and engage on a personal level and you get to see what i do on a regular basis on a daily basis that i don't post on the social media platforms here on youtube yeah so guys make sure you continue supporting me by subscribing to my youtube channel and uh, of course i really appreciate guys yeah as usual successful people look like you and uh, as usual peace love and harmony and bye bye and see you in the next one